Hey everyone and welcome back to another Dropified video training tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can activate and set up PayPal in your WooCommerce store so you can start receiving payments via PayPal. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is log into our WooCommerce store. So once we're on the dashboard we're going to go over to the left hand menu and go into where it says WooCommerce and then choose settings. And then what we need to do is we need to go into payments at the top right here. And then we've got all of these different options on how to take payments, but we're just going to set up PayPal in this one. So I'm going to move this to the top and I'm going to select PayPal. So the first thing you need to do at the top is enable PayPal standards. So that way you can actually start taking PayPal payments. So then what we need to do is name it. So I'm just going to name this PayPal Payments. Then I'm going to name this Pay with PayPal quickly, oops, quickly and securely. And so here's where you're going to put your PayPal email account. So I set up one. And so what this is, when somebody tries to pay with PayPal, this account is where the payment is going to go. So all of your funds are going to be put into PayPal and you can transfer them later. So now if you want to test all of this, you enable the PayPal sandbox. But we're not going to do that because that'll be a different video sometime in the future, which explains how the testing method works just to make sure everything is up to snuff, everything's working, and everything like that. And then here, this is the receiver email. Make sure you put in the same thing. And so once you do this, you can set up your PayPal identity token. If you want to do that, you can always follow these steps, but I'm not going to do that right now. So then when you get a payment from your customer, you're, they're going to see an invoice prefix. So by default, it's WooCommerce or WC, but I'm going to name mine uh, Uncommon now and then anything after this will be the order info so in their bank statement they'll see uncommon now hyphen their payment info and billing info then once you set that up you can go into the shipping details and you can either send that to paypal instead of billing or you can enable that or disable that it's really up to you so now that we've set up everything we need for PayPal in the back end of WooCommerce, we actually have to go in and do a few things in PayPal. So you need to log into your PayPal business account. And when we get to the screen, we need to go to settings up here at the top with the gear icon. Go to account settings. And once we're on the settings screen, we have to go to API access and go to update. So once we're on this screen, we need to go down to here where it says NVP slash SOAP API integration and manage our API credentials. So this is going to consist of the three elements, the username, password, and API signature that we need to put into here at the bottom. And so once we're back on the screen, we need to choose signature to make sure this is the correct thing. It gives you the option for a certificate, but WooCommerce requires a signature. So we request that and agree and submit. So we need to copy this, copy, paste, go to the password, copy, paste and we copy this very long signature and we paste that as well and then make sure to press save to make sure it is solidified. So we need to go back to our account settings, go to notifications and then update our instant payment notifications here. We need to choose our IPN settings by pressing the button here. 
And so once we're on this screen, we need to insert our notification URL. But what we need to do is we need to go get a specific URL that comes from a blog post in WooCommerce that I'll link in the description. It's this right here. You scroll about two-fifths of the way down the screen to how to set up your PayPal IPN. So you copy this. and paste it and make sure that you change the URL from example.com to whatever your store name is so mine is woo.dropify.com and then make sure you press receive IPN messages and press save so that's set up too now and we keep going so we go back to the account settings. And so next we want to set up our return page, which after your customer places an order, they get returned back to the receipt page on your website. So what we need to do is we go down to the menu on the left and go to website payments. From within there, we go to website preferences and we go to update. And here up at the top will be the option to turn on auto return. And once again, what you need to do is you need to go into this blog post again. Copy this, the order received. And paste that in and then make sure again to change the website from example.com to your store name. Make sure it's all typed out correctly. Then make sure to press save and you're done. So now that we've added the URL, we are pretty much done. We've done all the things we need to do to make sure that we have PayPal up and running within our account and it's ready for any plugins that we have to use. So I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to scroll down again and make sure everything is saved by pressing save changes again. And then that is pretty much going to be all of the major things that you need to do to set up PayPal. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. If you want to request videos that you want us to cover in the future, you can always leave those down below in the comments as well. If you like the video, be sure to leave a like on it. And if you never want to miss a video, be sure to press subscribe and hit the bell icon to make sure you never miss an upload. But until next time, I've been Riley with Dropified, and thank you so much for watching.